Hi again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you today. You'll notice if you're sharp eyed or if you looked at the right spot on the screen, this looks like Fritz 12, but there are some differences. There are a couple things that are different in this video on this screen that you're looking at right now. One of them is up here in the upper left corner. There is a little 13 on a green logo, and down here you see engine Fritz 13. That's because Fritz 13 is out and I have it right here in front of us. We're going to look, there's some major features by the way in this software, but we're going to look at some of the very basic things for Fritz 12 users. Some of the basic differences that you're going to enjoy in Fritz 13 as opposed to Fritz 12, as well as a couple things that have changed that you might have a little trouble finding, a couple things that have been moved. So I'm going to look at the very basic things in Fritz 13 before we move on to the big changes. The first of these is a fairly large and significant cosmetic difference and that is something I just mentioned a moment ago. You'll recall in Fritz 12 in the upper left hand corner of your screen there was a round button, had a logo on it, looked a little bit like the letter T. I always thought it kind of looked like the Liberty Bell. What it is is the application menu where you could get to a whole bunch of commands by clicking on that button. First thing you'll notice in Fritz 13 if you go to save a game or replace game is if you go to this upper left hand corner and click this you will see the standard Windows set of commands that you've seen by clicking in that corner for probably 20 years now since Windows 3 or Windows 3.1 if you go back that far. Uh, the stuff that's been in this upper corner, that was a Microsoft change. Microsoft was really trying to push having a lot of commands on this upper left corner, and a lot of users didn't care for it. Back in the day, we always had a file menu, which you, you noticed in Fritz 12 was absent. Fritz 13 brings the file menu back. So the things that you previously saw in Fritz 12 in the green button application menu are now under the file menu in Fritz 13. If you click on it, notice when you mouse over it, it does say application menu, and when you click on it, there's all the stuff that you saw in the application menu, uh, how to save and replace games, come down here to options and change some, some things about the software or the way it behaves, uh, that kind of stuff is, is all right here. So you have this application menu moved to the file menu now. That's a big change. Another change you're going to find is when you go to load an engine. If you hit F3 or if you go to the engine menu and select change main engine, this looks a little bit different. What you have is a scrolling list of engines as you had before, obviously. When you click, of course, down here you had where you could change your table base size uh, or, or your uh, hash table size, rather, whether or not you want to use the table bases, etc. That was all there. It's not there now. Where it is is you click the advanced button. So select your engine, click advanced, and there you have your engine parameters button. You have a way to change the hash table size, permanent brain, use table bases, etc. Smart CPU usage only applies to people using deep versions of the software. So if you're using an older, like Deep Fritz 12, Deep Ribka, this will apply to you, and that is explained in the help file, by the way. But that's where you'll find this. If you click Advanced, you will now find engine parameters, hash table size settings, all that are located there instead of cluttering up the initial view. Select your engine, click Advanced, click OK, you're good to go. And of course your engine will appear down here in the lower corner. For those people that want to uh, find the help file, we've covered this before, but you know help files are important. That's always your first recourse rather than your last. If you go here to this button in the upper right corner, there's a little tiny blue button. You remember back in the day there used to be a help menu with every Windows program. Uh, one of the things Microsoft has changed to and of course the chess based programmers have gone along with is that instead of having a help menu there's a little blue button with a white question mark on it when you click on it that brings up your help file for the software that's not changed that's where it is in Fritz 12 as well but I wanted to point that out because that is of course your first resource you'll notice here that this looks different of course there's a logo and something called let's check we'll talk about that in just a moment if you click on excuse me, we go back here to home and click on the database button, of course that brings up your game list. Notice over here you have a new pane in your game list menu. It shows your most recent databases that you've used. 
or over here and that's just quick access but if you go over here to file notice in this view as well the game list view again the application menu button is gone all that stuff is now under file and if you go here your recent databases are there just as they were in Fritz 12 but remember there's a file menu instead of a round button in the upper left corner the file menu the application menu same thing but as a cool shortcut over here whoops let me go back over here again your most recent databases are listed over here with icons so it's kind of cool another neat little help for you the big features in Fritz 13 the monster thing about the software are the new let's check features we're going to cover those in future videos if you click on the engine tab you will find let's check features right here there's a whole section for them right here in this one spot those are where most of your large new major features of Fritz 13 are clustered right here and there's a button down here as well and what that does is clicking let's check or clicking the blue button will go online and start analyzing whatever the current board position is we're gonna look at those in future videos by the way I just wanted to cover the basic stuff in this Fritz 13 video our first one the basic stuff for Fritz 12 users where you will find familiar things in the software where things have been added or things have been changed so that's the basics of it the big thing application menu is gone you now have a file menu instead and that applies to both the normal chessboard view and the database game list view the round button is gone now been replaced by a file menu couple cool cosmetic changes like right here you have quick access to your most recently used databases and of course as we saw before when you go to engine and change main engine when you're looking for how to set your hash table size whether or not you want to use table bases click the advanced button those are just the where things have been moved around and changed the big features again let's check will be covered in future videos in this series so until then for USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for watching.